guys. Dave here live from the shed. Just as a uh, meet and greet for Pierre Polivier in uh, Hamilton. Uh, first off, to be clear, um, covering this covering this event, do not take it as an endorsement from myself. Simply covering this event. Uh, I thought I was interested to see what he had to say, and I thought my viewers would be too. Um, so I'd like to hear from all of the candidates before I make any kind of endorsement, but I will be covering this for you. So he's going to be speaking soon. Lots, lots of people here. <laughs> Standing room only. The next people I want to thank, and I don't know who they all are here, Sorry. do know that they are here. We have a lot of people here that were on the convoy for 30 days. They sat in the convoy for 30 days, and I'm a strong believer that we're here today based on that fight for freedom that they did. I'm Nick Drew, I'm going to go on the floor of Stony Creek. Woo! I ran the last election, uh, we lost, but I do feel with this, everyone's support and to get Pierre as our leader of the Conservative Party, we have a very good chance of winning in Hamilton East and a lot of Hamilton. Look at this. This is a record. A record. There, this is a record now for a conservative gathering in Hamilton. The last was by the former Prime Minister Stephen Harper at 500. I don't know if we're there, but I'm pretty positive this is a record and this is only a leadership race, folks. Yeah! Forgot my gimbal. Sorry, folks. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce... Your freedom fighter, our Prime Minister, Pierre Polyev! for the people. 
and they came to a place where they could be free. They came for the same reasons that my grandfather would have come about a hundred years before that, to Saskatchewan. And around that time, then Prime Minister Laurier was asked, what is Canada's nationality? An easy question to answer in most countries, right? In England, you'd say English. In France, you'd say French. But in Canada, you couldn't answer based on ethnicity because we were already mixed up. We had the First Peoples, we had the French, the English, we had Asian people already arriving in Canada. And so you couldn't define us by our ethnicity. So instead, he said, Canada is free, and freedom is its nationality. Yeah! so free, have they? No, 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 not at all. I mean, we've had big bossy government telling us where we can go. <laughs> shutting down businesses, just like this one. Shut down again and again. Layoff after layoff. Waitresses losing their jobs. 14-year-old kids in depression because they are cut off from their sporting events and their social activities. And then our Prime Minister attacking the heroes that were delivering the food and services we needed, the truckers of the nation, the heroes of this land, attacking them and taking away their jobs because of a personal health decision. And that's just the COVID controls. Then there's the gatekeepers who shut immigrants out of the professions for which they're trained, shut our First Nations out of making decisions on their land, their money, and their natural resources. The gatekeepers who block housing construction and drive up home prices so that our young people are forced to live into their 30s in their parents' basement. They could be the single mother who walks down the grocery aisle, trembling at the high prices that are preventing her from feeding her kids with nutritious food. Or the working guy who can't go on a hunting trip on the weekend because he can't afford the buck eighty a liter to put in his tank. And the Liberals, along with Jean Charest and Patrick Brown, want to raise it further on this Friday with a <laughs> I will ask the carbon tax. Yeah! 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 Don't worry about all this high prices. It's just inflation, right? Printing yeah! money to pay its bills, more dollars chasing fewer goods and services always equals higher prices. It's an old story. It's been done dictators and emperors, kings. Prime Ministers and Presidents, whenever they run out of cash, what do they do? They just create more. It reminds me of the Emperor Dionysius. He took all the coins on his island in Sicily, and he had one drachma on each coin. Drachma was a, a dollar in Greek. And he stamped a two over each one so that he could double the amount of money and be twice as rich. Yeah. Now, it meant that he could spend more on himself, but it made the money worth half of what it was before, cutting in half the wages of the people. Now, I hesitate to even tell that story because I worry Justin Trudeau might try to replicate it here in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> if you run out of money, you can always make more. You'll turn loonies to toonies and toonies to fours, right? <laughs> but what ultimately happens is that the more money chasing fewer goods always equals higher prices, and the people, the working class wager, ends up with a wage cut. Think about it. We have 5.7% inflation. If we have that for five years, effectively you lose a third of the value of your paycheck. If your boss said he was cutting your salary by a third, you'd say take this job and shove it, right? But when your government does it to you, you have no choice because they control all of the cash right now. So what are we going to do about it? We have a choice. One, we do have a choice. We and that is to fire the Prime Minister. Yeah.
We're going to phase out the deficit by canceling the $100 billion slush fund, getting rid of the wasteful multi-billion dollar infrastructure bank that does nothing other than pay bonuses to insiders and guarantee profits for construction companies. And I, I guess what else? I found CBC. $100 billion dollars of savings, and you got it right. We're going to defund the savings. Saudi Arabia. Why? Why? Because Trudeau is attacking our energy sector. So what's 
the answer. It is to approve, approve the expansion of our energy sector in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Newfoundland, and across this country. the gatekeepers that try to control what we think and what we say. Yeah. Trudeau has brought in anti-free speech bills like Bill C-11 and Bill C-36 which try to control what you can see and say on the internet. That is not freedom. That is force and that is control. That will pass a free speech law that repeals those bills and gives you back control of your speech. I will use my own free speech to stand up to the woke warriors who want to control what we think. Wokeism is about one thing, one thing only, control. It's about dividing people on the basis of race, religion, gender, sexuality, vaccination status. It's about dividing people up into little groups and then getting people fighting with each other. Because Trudeau's view is that if you're fighting with your neighbor, then you'll turn to him to protect you, right? So he wants you to be afraid of your fellow Canadian. It's the old, it's the old, it's the old strategy, isn't it, Ed? Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. That is exactly what they are doing to us. And I will speak up against it, and I will look, look at the world in a completely different way from Trudeau, and that is this way. I believe a Canadian is a Canadian, that we are all equal, regardless of race, regardless of gender, regardless of vaccination status, regardless of any other irrelevant characteristic. <laughs> Yes. 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 
I hope so. But I've got a little gift for you. All right, I, I had the good fortune of playing all across Canada where I was leadership race will have to be uh, friendly to the convoy. I, uh, I can't see them winning without that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make any kind of endorsement, certainly at this level, or this stage, but uh, hello. So, some friendly convoy faces here. <laughs> What's he doing here? Just hi. Uh, yeah, great guys. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. Great crowd here. Uh, so he's just going through, kind of doing some meet and greet there. Yeah. Obviously, it's very hard for a small speech to uh, to know exactly where someone stands, and unfortunately. There are many of those who say one thing and do another when they're in power, so uh, definitely do your research on all the different candidates. Um, but yes, we certainly need some great alternatives to uh, to Mr. Trudeau, and so the conservative leadership race will be a big part of that. It, I can certainly get behind his call to defund the CBC, but I also know that in the past... Uh, Aaron O'Toole uh, used to say he would defund the CBC as well, and obviously that did not happen. 
So I'm always a skeptic when it comes to these things, but uh, certainly has some things to say that that I enjoyed. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can get out to a few of these and I'd love to uh, hear from some of the other candidates when I get a chance. Um, yeah, I, uh, someone was commenting that I didn't tell people what was happening. I only found about uh, this like an hour ago. And uh, as far as events today, I wasn't aware of any in Southern Ontario. I'm sure there was, just not ones that I knew about. Um, next, next weekend on Saturday, there's a large event in London. I'll get that out there right now. We're going to have the shed truck, the crane truck. Um, Penny's coming, Lenny's coming, hopefully Mike. Uh, Shaba probably, he's down towards that area. So next Saturday, April the 2nd, I think that is, we're going to have a big event in London with uh, our shed crew and uh, some local convoy groups there. So yeah, mark your calendar for that if you're in the London area. I'll post the details soon. Next Saturday, April 2nd, in London, Ontario, the Shed Crew and uh, many others will be doing a big family-friendly event at a park in London. Details to We had a great weekend this week. Uh, yeah, last night was a blast with our uh, Shed Crew and the Jonkers off-road convoy. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that. I posted some videos of that as well. And um, yeah, feel, yeah, feel free to check out. Actually, I've got a new Thank You Truckers design that should be coming out this week. So if you check out live from the shed.ca, we're gonna have a brand new Thank You Truckers logo. Uh, just an honor to our truckers. So you can keep an eye on that. Uh, check out the links in our video descriptions for ways to donate to some of the drivers that we're supporting directly. And definitely come out next Saturday, April 2nd in London to see the gang and uh, visit some of your favorite truckers and meet with other supporters. As always, I recommend you guys check out Facebook uh, to find local freedom groups and you can hear about different events that are happening. Uh, that's all I think I have to say. I'll show you a bit of the crowd here. Mr. Freedom's here somewhere. Maybe I'll go say hi to him. He's the one who told me about this kind of last minute. I hope someone's eating that food, because if not, I'm coming back for it. <laughs> What's up? Clean up so well. I've never seen you looking this good. I look look at this guy. I didn't know you wore suits. I do once in a while. Here, good to see you. Hey, bro. You smell like fish. Fish. Uh, <laughs> hey. I'm going to go for politics. What? I don't, I'm going to go for politics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you running next or what? I think I'm going to take these guys out. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I'd vote for him. Just to know I'm honest. I don't lie, so yeah, yeah. I don't trust the politicians. Good. So. Well, thanks for the invite. I didn't know this was happening. Yeah, buddy. So. I got invited. You just got let in. It was great. I had a great time. Did you film or not? Uh, I went live for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I should just end up on other people's live feed. What? I just end up on other people's live feed. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so are you coming on uh, Saturday to London? I think I might, yeah. yeah. I, just, I just heard from Lori. So. We... Confirmation from uh, most of our shed trucks are going to be there. Okay. Right. So we got Ben and Lenny and Kenny. And one to five, I think. One but to five. I'll okay. post the flyer on our. We got to uh, leave at like nine thirty. I'll no. post the details on our Facebook and stuff. So. All right, I'll bring them in. Yeah, share them on yours. I'll bring them in. Yeah, let me know and I'll put them out. Yeah, we'll do. Freedom! Vote for freedom! Yeah. Vote for freedom! Faces here, I don't know. 
Well, they're all friendly faces, but I mean, ones that I, I know. I can so yeah, this is uh, Shoeless Joe's, Upper James Street. Yeah, it's so great to be in a packed bar again. I love that. So get out, support your local restaurants, guys. They've really been struggling, obviously. But, uh, yeah, great to see a party again. Mask free and loving it. So. Yeah, I uh, like I'm going to try to find Kenny, who I came with. And uh, maybe we'll grab some dinner here. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any questions I missed or anything. But, uh... Yeah, that's the main thing to help you update you guys on. And um, yeah, next Saturday, London. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, dates for our tour should be coming out shortly. Uh, we're just finalizing locations. Again, if you guys know a location in Ontario that can handle potentially a few thousand people, uh, we'd love to hear about it. You can email me live from the shed 2022 at gmail.com if you know a location in Ontario that can handle a couple thousand people with some trucks. Um, that would be awesome. And we're, we're, uh, we're looking at that. We're hoping actually to find places where you can overnight camp because we'd like to open it up for camping. Do like a Friday night, Saturday. Uh, so you can make a weekend out of it. Bring the gang. And, um, yeah. I uh, don't think I have much else to cover. I'm going to try to get some interviews this weekend. If you guys have some interview requests, feel free to... Uh, Hit me up at live with the 2022 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear if there's some people you'd like me to talk to. I can usually connect with most people at this point, so if uh, there's a certain guest you'd like to see, then let me know, and I'll try to get a hold of them. <laughs> uh, but, is that a guest? <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk to him. Um, but uh, you... Uh, yeah, let me know. And uh, our merch has started getting delivered, the first run from the website. Uh, I, I, some people sent some pictures already. I posted them on Instagram and Facebook. Love to see your merch that you've gotten. So if you've got some uh, shed merch, then um, post, send me a video, a picture on Instagram or Facebook, especially, or email, and I'll get that posted and shared out. Um, yeah, I'll post our fundraising links on this page. Again, We've had no issues with Kiss and Go. The money is flowing to all of our recipients just fine. And uh, it's been good. Again, for anyone who just tuned in, um, me covering Pierre Bolivar's event is not an endorsement of him. I'm uh, simply trying to get information out there about potential candidates for everyone. So do your research. Um, buy a membership in the party of your choice and make a difference. And uh, but, well, obviously right now, if you want to make a difference to the conservatives specifically, you'll need to buy a conservative membership ASAP. If you buy a membership on their website, then you can vote in the leadership election and make a say on uh, this next election and potentially the next prime minister. So, super important to join a party and, uh, and get involved. Part of the reason we got ourselves into this mess is not enough people involved in politics and making a difference. All politicians are not the same. Unfortunately, we've had many who are, but I do believe that there are honest, good people out there. I met many of them in Ottawa, and I, I, I hope that more of them stand up and get involved in politics. We need people of integrity. We need people who can make a real difference in this country. Uh, so keep doing your research. If you know a great person, encourage them to run in the next election. And uh, let's make a difference in this country. We'll give you one more shot of the gang, and then uh, we'll head out. So, yeah. Doing some more interviews, and who knows where <laughs> we'll end up.
next. But uh, sorry for the late notice for those who tuned in late. I only found out about this last minute. I'll try to keep you posted better. I'm still learning. So um, thank you guys too for all the encouragement you guys send. I do read the comments when I get a chance, and I do read your um, your Instagram and Facebook messages, and I do really appreciate them, all the encouragement and support you guys give. So. Take care, guys, and uh, hold the line.